Welcome to uh, this week's Wednesday web chat. This week we'll be continuing our series on SAP Business One Basics, and today we're starting sales. So the next two weeks are about sales and AR. The last two weeks were about purchasing. So without any further ado, uh, let's just continue. So in this sales AR series, we're going to see the sales process, and the last uh, lesson next week should be about handling issues in sales, about reporting and things of that nature around the issue of sales in the AR module. Uh, in this unit, you're going to learn to master the basics of the sales process, understand the consequences of each step of, on inventory and accounting, and handle any issues that arise um, within delivery and billing. A business example is that you know a customer, uh, a company, has a set of customers, and they want to satisfy them highly. And so it's its top priority, and they want to streamline this process in sales to make sure that the customer's demands can be met quickly and uh, fast and correctly every time possible. When problems arise, uh, you can quickly solve the issues by using documents such as returns and credit memos, and those are part of the standard offering in Business One. This first uh, half of the sales process is going to be about the sales process itself, and then as I said, next week we'll talk about some other issues around sales. So part one. As always, it's important to remember that the system configuration really guides the effectiveness of the system, and that that primarily involves master data around customers and leads and inventory. And of course, the system rests on these financial rules that we refer to as GL determinations. All of the system processes, be they purchasing, inbound logistics, marketing and sales service, production, warehouse management, rest and require these master data elements and GL determinations to be set properly. Then we have the sales process that comes into place, of course, with sales orders, deliveries, AR invoices, and incoming payments, and all of them rely on that system configuration being properly done. The sales AR process, these are some notes that you'll be able to capture on your screen there, and uh, when you have this video, you can pause it and read them for yourself. This sales AR process moves selling the goods and services to delivering those goods to invoicing the customer for their purchases. Each of the steps involves a document, such as a sales order, a delivery, or an AR invoice. SAP Business One efficiently moves all relevant information from one document to the next in the document flow. According to the business needs you have, you can choose which documents to include in that process. The only mandatory document is the AR invoice. Sales documents carry a lot of the same information through the sales process. This helps you to recognize what's the same in each document and then you can quickly focus on the differences of the information